Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my random wee adventures. I am Aaron of Alaba. Today, I'm in a very, very important place to our ancestors. A place where they used to study the moon. And how do we know that? Because they left us a calendar. Stay tuned to see more. The moon is on an 18.6 year cycle. Pretty sure you didn't find that out in school, because I surely didn't. This place here is called Corrimony Cairn. And Corrimony Cairn is aligned with this 18.6 year cycle. Would you like to come and see? In 1952, Corrimone was excavated by the archaeologists, dug up, vandalised, taken to pieces and attempted to put it back again. The kind of, the accepted story of Corrimone by today's archaeologists and archaeologists in the 1950s were that at, in this site here they found remains of a burial, apparently a crouched woman and her body was left stained by the acidic groundwater that we have here in this area. Now, other pieces of evidence they found was a, a fragment of bone and by this evidence they concluded that Coromone was in fact a burial site 4,000 years ago. Something that a lot of the books seem to forget is that this chamber here is actually aligned with the moon cycle. The moon is on an 18.6 year cycle, which I'm sure majority of us have no idea about, as I'm only kind of learning myself. What you have during these, these cycles, you have what's called a major standstill and a, a minor standstill. Now, this passageway, this illuminates the chamber on this lunar minor standstill. Once upon a time this chamber would have been closed off and <laughs> the, the moon would set and as it was setting it would illuminate through the passage which as you can see is so tiny a, a man can't walk through there. Maybe a, maybe a freaking hobbit or something but no humans can walk through there. I don't even think a midget could walk through it. The chamber itself, guys, it's more or less a perfect circle. I'll try and show you the best I can. But it's really, really difficult to kind of understand simply from the camera perspective. You have this circle here. Beautiful, beautiful work with the stones. we're back to the tiny hobbit chamber. Now I'm not claiming to understand or know exactly what these people believed in 4,000 years ago, but my research has proven to me that the ancient people studied the moon. Whether they were worshipping the moon, I, I don't know, but they studied the moon, just like the farmers do today. Just It controls so many elements of our world and, and how we live, and it's almost seen as nonsense if you start kind of claiming that these things 
4,000 years ago our ancient people were aware of of 18.6 year cycle of the moon because I'm telling you I wouldn't figure it out unless I, I was told the the Coromone has lit up in the past and in my lifetime these minor standstills have happened twice in 1997, 2015 and there won't be another one till 2034 so I can't say for sure because I haven't seen it but I will be here in 2034 and I will check it and I will tell you if I if I feel that element whether the the trees and the kind of the world outside is now affecting the alignment and we can't see it I don't know but I will come check it's known as a clava cairn style cairn. Now, all over the Inverness area, Loch Ness, Inverness, Morrisworth, there are these clava cairn style, let's not call it a tomb, but temples. Let's call it a temple, a nature's temple. And outside the Corrymone cairn, we have a beautiful stone circle. Now there are currently a living stone still in place. I'll try to show you the best I can. A living stone still in place around the circle with one missing, or well, one space for one missing. My honest belief with these kind of stone circles around these kind of cairns is that they have some kind of astronomical alignment, which I cannot say for sure because I don't know. I have no idea what these people really knew of their their world back 4,000 years ago. I'm pretty sure it's a hell of a lot more than what we know now. But yeah, and I will take you up the cairn. I know some of these are not gonna approve, but the fact is, this cairn has already been vandalized by the archeologists. So this here is the circle of the chambered cairn. I'll try my best to show you absolutely beautiful circle and just at the side of the circle is what is said to believe to be the capstone with some interesting cup grooves as some of us will have seen before if you've watched any of my videos so they believe that this capstone would have been part of a covering of the chamber and the light would have came through the tunnel and illuminated the chamber and that would have been what was known as the lunar minor standstill. As well as the 11 remaining standing stones around the beautiful chambered cairn, they actually the archaeologists found about 600 fragments of quartz. Exactly what the purpose is for, we can only really speculate. Was it some kind of electrical component? Was it some kind of current that would maybe bring the chamber to life for all I imagine? I don't know. All I know is that this, this cairn was robbed many times, probably over thousands of years, and probably they did find a fragment of bone, and, and, and yeah, I'm not, I'm not doubting that. I'm really not doubting that. All I'm kind of saying is that we have no evidence that this stained body that they found is 4,000 years old. Could have been 300 years old, for all we know, man, was a stain. It was a stain on the ground and they some kind of, they expect us all to, to believe that that is exactly the purpose of the cairn when their evidence is just so insignificant, uh, almost laughable for myself, to be honest. But yeah, for me, it's a, it's a, it's a bonny place. It's a really magic spot, but it's kind of beyond my comprehension, to be completely honest with you. So yeah.
I don't know who the hell would even think about burying someone in such a tiny bloody passageway. Makes absolutely no sense to me. That's it from me today guys. Aaron of Alaba, do hope you enjoyed today's wee video. I've actually attempted to video this place two or three times with epic failure, so I do hope that I do upload this one because I really want to share it with you, but it's really, really difficult place for me to really try to show on camera. So, if you're in the Loch Ness area, just ignore all the tourist things, come up here, have a little look for yourself. You never know, I might be kicking about. I also just want to say before I leave, Thank you so much to the amazing people, um, you know who you are, who actually donated to my buy, buy me a cup of coffee or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, I really, really appreciate it. You've no, no idea how much it means to me, how much it's going to kind of help me out with video making and traveling around and sharing these incredible sights with you because they mean everything to me, man. They really, really do. I feel like I've been lied to my whole life. And I'm sick of it. And all I want is to share it with you guys. So, if you do want to support my channel, you can hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, go to the wee link that says buy me a coffee, give me a wee donation there, anything's appreciated. It means so much to me, guys, you've no idea. Um, so yeah, just, yeah, until the next time. Cheerio the new. Maybe I'll go back this way. Try and do it all backwards. Back